if x and y were in inverse proportion when x is 12 y is 3 which of the following is not possible value not possible pair of the corresponding values of x and y means these this this or this means what See here x and y are two variables and they move in inverse direction now what do you mean by, mean by inverse direction if x moves up y moves down okay now when x is 12 y is 3 so what we have to do is whenever you get any inverse proportion or direct proportion problem important part is you have to find a constant k now what is constant k let's see this see this x moves inversely as y see here if anything moves inversely then x this is known as proportion this shows that x is in inverse proportion with y why why inverse proportion because it's one upon y if something is in direct proportion then it will be x and this proportion and y means x varies directly as y and in our case presently what is given x varies inversely as that of y means if y increases x will decrease see see this logically x and y is below suppose if x equals to let's say this let's take this so this proportion will convert it to equal to how see here x varies inversely as y then x equals to k upon y k is a constant this constant we ha we have taken now assume see this x equals to say uh, 5 and y equals to say 2 suppose if 5 equals to k upon 2 then if 2 increases to 4 then what will happen denominator increases so the answer will decrease this will be lesser it won't be uh, whatever is given it won't be that right so that's the meaning so what is given one value is given x is 12 when y is 3 so x equals to k upon y we have taken it k is a constant then we have to find k first so 12 equals to k upon 3 because one value is given therefore k equals to what 12 into 3 36 okay now you know x equals to 36 upon y right now check all the values so you can directly take this as x into y equals to 36 right x y equals to k this y if you take it on this side it will be x y equals to k okay so you can take it this way also in inverse proportion always take this denominator on the other side x y equals to k okay then uh, check the values 4 into 9 first value equals to it should come out to be 36 because const k is constant constant means it never changes so it will always be let there be any value of x or y k will always be the same so 4 into 9 36 okay 10 into 3.6 36 that is also okay 17 into two point, 72 into 0 0.5 36 5 into 6 30 so this value can't be there because we want answer as 36 so answer is 5 comma